<laughs> oh, I gave, I guess that's one way to start an episode, and is to probably give my audience a heart attack. Hey everybody, Player 64 is back and I'm bringing you more Pokemon Coliseum. In the last one, we started infiltrating the secret shadow Pokemon lab. And we also snagged one of the most useless shadow Pokemon in the game and you should never use it under any circumstance or I will find you and I will kill you, Apom. Yeah, not too eventful. But with any luck, I'm hopeful. Nope, never mind. Scratch that. I was hopefully, uh, I was hopeful that that little walk uh, to Fennec, Fennec and back to heal um, would have been enough to push Paulo Swine over past that second uh, section. Um, wait a minute, your faces are intruders. Yes, we are intruders. Uh, but no, Paulo Swine didn't regain a move, which hopefully. Oh, this guy must be like a pretty high up there scientist for having an electrode. Okay, well, you're definitely going to be faster than both Espeon and Paulo Swine, because you're just one of the faster Pokemon in general. I actually used an Electrode for my playthrough of Alpha Sapphire, and it was a pretty decent addition. Pa oh, right, Paulo Swine. Oh, my God! Yep, that brings back memories. Espeon lived? How? Oh, Paulo Swine, that's understandable. Your defense was amazing. Maybe Espeon's getting better. Well, that Electrode was just terrible. Okay. Congrats. Maybe this guy isn't too high up there. Well, I don't know. He has a Magneton. Uh, that's debatable, that's for sure. And I used it on the Magneton, which... Yeah, well, Paulo Swine will truck this Magnemite. But uh, also off screen, I totally forgot. Some of the times I use Paulo Swine, I sometimes give it the soft sand when I know dig. But other times, I always I give it the quick claw, um, which we got that in Agate Village or Agate Village, or whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, and since Paulo Swine's not exactly the fastest guy ever, um, yeah, OSP on your dead. Okay, cool. Pokemon are hit with Swift, um, but since he's like not too fast, I might give it to him. But since McCargo is actually considerably slower uh, by quite a bit, I might actually give it to him. Uh, speaking of McCargo, here here he is. You heard me talking about him. Just get that little experience for you, McCargo. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use a bit of my healing items. Um, do I have a revive? I really don't want to go back up all that way to go heal. <laughs> this reeks, what, your house coat? Your lab coat, I mean, not your house coat. You're far too late, there's nothing left here. Well, we'll see about that. There's this thing, a DNA sample. Cause you know, who leaves those just lying around? Um, do I have a revive? Oh, right, I, I have seven, sweet. Um, okay, well, I have a hyper potion. Um, oh, one super potion would do quite nicely for Espeon. Which, conveniently, I have some. Sweet. Good job, Espeon. Yeah, I like Paulo Swine. So you're Aiden, aren't you? The word has been wrecking havoc with our plans. Well, I don't want to toot my own horn, but, you know, I do what I can. Oh, no, not another Electrode. And he's pretty high level, too. Oh, you are going to have a heyday with Espeon, aren't you? All right, putting down Bents, ladies and gentlemen. If not, I'll sing the American National Anthem if he uses... Never mind. Oh, say can you see by the Trump's early light from the fresh sun of morning. I don't know the American National Anthem. I don't know it at all. Just besides, um, oh, say can you see. What? Both your guys know thunder. Wow. Espeon, you got dicked on, like, severely. 
I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to use another damn revive. Okay, Macargo, you're the sec you're the defense guy. So technically he's not the defense guy, but you know what I mean. <laughs> he's just the next bulky defense guy. Which is why he's going to die by the time. Oh my gosh, he is even slower. Hollow swine! No! Miss! Good. Flamethrower, go! I hope you used it on Electrode. Thank god I did. I'm a genius. I got a Snapchat from Dame. He went to, uh... Uh, he went to, um, a career fair today, today uh, to find out what he wants to do for school. And, uh... He said today was pretty successful, so that's pretty good for him. Um, Paula Swine, you're going to have to call. Um, the cargo, no offense, I don't see you surviving unless both these guys miss. Okay. Shit. Um, aw, the crit to boot, seriously? Screw you. That was a jerk move. Um... Hmm. Alright, for alligator. You're gonna be targeted like hell out there. But, um, hey, luck. Surf will just do some damage. It probably won't because it, uh, steel has a resistance to water, I think. No! I stand correction. Corrected. Correction. No, that made no sense. I stay corrected. Stand. God. Talk for once. All right, tank it for alligator. I know you can, or not. I think this is the first time for alligator has ever fainted. You're actually a pretty strong guy, I gotta say. But hey, if you want to, uh, if you want to play with thunder, well, let me show you my thunder over here. All right, good job, Polyswine. Again, they weren't targeting him because of his ground typing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yeah, Ampharos, you have to have some sort of speed deficiency. Because there's no way anybody should have missed that. Okay. Good, no, good job. No Havoc? Yeah, well, you just wreak Havoc on your own. Only a thousand six hundred. That's another thing that sucks about um Coliseum is like you have so many battles, but you get hardly any money from them. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, cut this out for just a split second, just to go and heal, uh, because uh, my team got pretty wrecked. So. I'll be right back. Alright guys, and I'm back. That actually did not take that long at all because I only had to um, swap out five Pokemon because Suicune, I didn't fight him. So, alright, now to use the down street key. And get assaulted! Sweet. Alright, Lair. Do you have another Shadow Pokemon for me to steal? Eh, I don't know. I don't really... I'm not a big fan of Nuzleaf. Houndour I could go with, but it's pretty weak compared to what we've been catching, so probably not. Oh, no. It's a freaking Fire Dragon. Oh, no. They're both Dark types. Shit! Um, alright. Put up that Reflect. And... Shadow Rush that Hound Hour. Because it's probably going to be more problematic. But seeing as both Dark and Fire types and Grass types are all special, that Reflect is pretty useless. If you use, like. Um, I don't know what you use. Uh, if you use, like, Fiend Attack, that would not be a good one for me. Alright, Hound Hour's gone. Good job, Hollow Swine. Right? And what do you got? A Carvana. Another damn dark type. 
Yeah, no, it's feint attack. Well, it's nice knowing you, SP. Oh, maybe he's alive. Okay. Uh, you know what, Espeon? I really don't want to waste a revive on you. So I'll throw out Ampharos. Um, while Pulse One can wreck Nuzleaf. Pulse One, you are a fine addition to the team. You are... I don't know. Yeah, I kind of... I don't want to use it, but I want to, like, purify it. Just... Just get its heart gate out of the way. Because it's already level 43. It is the strongest member of my team. Um, in comparison to, like, the other guys. Um, but, I don't know, I just want to get its heart food. As soon as it's purified, I won't use it as much. Um, I guarantee you. But, uh, alright, Murkrow. Another damn dark type. But, I don't want to kill this dark type because it's a shadow Pokemon. Murkrow sucks. It's got speed and attack going on for it. But other than that, not much. It's not going to make use of any of its attack because flying and dark are special in this game. Again. That's what you want to do. I think you want to paralyze that Murkrow and Hollow Swine. You know what? Just for fun. We'll throw a Pokeball at this Murkrow. Full heal Pokeball. Let's we'll see what it does. I don't know why I didn't use um, Shadow Rush on Carvana. I just really didn't want to uh, get its rough skin ability activated on Paulo Swine, but... Oh, Nightshade, that's an interesting move. Um, I think we've been over this once, but Nightshade does damage equivalent to the user's level. In this case, it is level 43, did 43 damage. Uh, Paulo Swine, yeah, you're definitely killing that Carvana. Um, but, other than that, um, it's not a great move. The maximum damage it can do is 100, which isn't even... If, Ampho if Ampharos was fighting a level 100 Pokemon and used Nightshade, it'd live it. That's how bad it is. You want to call it that? Um, again, Paula Swine, you're gonna truck that Murkrow if you touch it. So, throw up Pokeballs until we get, um... Alligator with bite. Because all of Ampharos's moves will kill it. All of Paloswan's moves will kill it. For Alligator, special attack. Dark type, same type. So, with any luck. Oh, the fucking crit. Pardon my French. Paloswan, well, it went down fighting, I guess. Uh, yeah, we're not sending out my cargo because it's stupid. Because it's a rock type. And a fire type against a damn water type. Yeah, no, that's not going to be well. Um, Alright, Ampharos, you can use light screen. Although it's pretty useless. Alligator can take at least one more of those, so. Light screen and for alligator, use. Bite, because Slash would do some pretty good damage. Murkrow's pretty frail um, in like terms of defense, but special defense, it's all right. Yeah, it get it's get more it gets more useful again in the next um, generation because it gains an evolution of Honchcrow, um, which gets like faster. Um, Throw another Pokeball, because we got 20 of these things. And you can't do much. Mm -hmm. Gotta do some thinking. Oh, I just looked up Murkrow. Apparently it's attack and defense, or special attack. It's uh, defense are the same. So let's go for a Slash. Yeah, they're base, uh, base 42 defense. And 42 special defense. Its speed is pretty good, but other than that, it sucks. It's got an 85 attack, 85 special attack. So yeah, it's pretty bad. Alright, yeah, that did alright. I am scared when I use Slash, because if that critted, that wouldn't have been very good. 
Yeah, yeah, okay, Murkrow. Congratulations, you took down my Feraligator. That's a pretty high honor, I understand. Espeon, you're still alive. So just, like, do a little return thing or something. All right, Ampharos, um, throw another Pokeball. I don't want to waste a Great Ball until it's at at least yellow. Which, I mean, it is pretty close. And with return, it will go over. So, yeah, I'm not complaining. All right. One. Two. Three. Oh, my God. Okay, that was... That's pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. Although my team took a pretty heavy beating during that battle, which I'm kind of upset about. Yeah, but whatever. Good job, team. Now, again, I'm going to cut out. I'm going to go heal. Be right back. That was an orange pepper. Brave nature for Paulo Swine. Okay. Not too sure what that does, but again, it'll pop up on screen what it does do. Thank you, future me. You're amazing. I love you. I don't give you enough credit. Although, you are having a blast editing, aren't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, now that we're back here again. Alright, fork in the road. Let's go left. Um, oh, there's a shiny. Another DNA sample, huh? What's up here? I've been hired to tend to Pokemon, so that's why I've been doing this whole time. Were you folks wanting Pokemon? Yeah. Is that so? It's a shame, but they're all gone. They've all been taken away everywhere. Every last one. Well, that sucks. So, yeah, as it's been stated multiple times, our intrusion on this place is pretty futile because everything's gone. The poke, the sh every single shadow Pokemon, apparently. Hello, lady. It's off limits beyond here. Well, thank you, I guess. Now, what are you going to do? Fortress and Swablu, huh? Okay, that Fortress is going to be a problem. Uh, Swablu? Yeah, okay, I'll just truck you, I guess. Um... Okay, so I'll use Pulse Wine on Swap Blue and Espeon on Fortress. Especially because Fortress is a Shadow Pokemon. Fortress is actually a pretty decent Pokemon. Dig. Oh my gosh, we got Dig finally, which is useless on the Swap Blue. I'm going to put up a Reflect just because I can. Uh, just to make sure that Fortress doesn't do anything crazy. Um. But yeah, with any luck, Paul Swan should truck through that Swablu. Uh, well, pretty close. But I'm not surprised. Fortress is a very defensive, a very big defensive wall. It has a base stat of defense of 140. That's pretty strong. That rivals, that's up there with most of the defense Pokemon, like Macargo, even. It's a better defense stat than Macargo. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty, pretty much, if you use a Fortress... It's a wall and nothing more, really. Um, it's mainly defensive, so special t uh, def uh, special attack moves will do some damage, considering it's only 60. Um, it's got a pretty decent attack stat of 90, which that's pretty good. Um, it's moves, though, kind of leave more to the imagination. Um, all in all, it's a pretty usable Pokemon, especially in this game. Because uh, it gets access to a couple of good moves, like Explosion. Yeah, with that 90... Um, all right, called. Um, let's finish off that Swab Blue. Just, I want to get SP on that experience. Um, just it, it gets... Um, uh, it gets the moves uh, Explosion. Very good Spike Setter. Um, double Edge. Uh, pretty good. Uh, take down, rapid spin, bide. And it doesn't get too much uh, in terms of like TMs and stuff. It gets toxic, which is pretty much a given. If we're going to use a fortress, going to give it toxic. Um, gets hyper beam, solar beam, earthquake even, dig, double team. So that dig TM, 
Uh, that you can, uh... Uh, we had a dig TM somewhere, I think. Um, then so you can teach it that. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good Pokemon. Um, but I'm not gonna use it for my team. Um, also, what you can do? Uh, let's try and catch it with Pokeball. Uh, because Ampharos, I just really want you to take that care of that Zubat. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good Pokemon. Apparently, what's really interesting, and I didn't know this, but... If you level up a, poke, uh, a Fortress in Generation 3, which is what this generation of Pokemon is right now, in Fire Red Leaf Green, if you evolve a uh, Pineco into a Fortress and train it to level 31, apparently he gets the exclusive move Zap Cannon, which that's pretty shocking. Pun intended. But it's kind of weird. Which... Okay, I'm not complaining. That's just odd. I never knew that. It's kind of weird. I'm not gonna lie. I just kind of find that funny. Of all things, of all things, it gets zap cannon. That's weird. All right, Pupitar. Oh boy, you're not gonna be fun. Let's see, you're still a rock ground type, aren't you? Dig. And Ampharos, you haven't paralyzed it yet, have you? Wow, it's slow, I guess. Okay. I never really thought that. Uh, Thunder Wave, go. Oh, it put up Safeguard? When? Hmm. So, um. When, uh. uh I'm just trying to find some, um. just happened. Uh, I don't know if it had safeguard on or not. Um, I'll just wait a turn just to be safe. Because it was pretty close. It shook three times. Um, actually, I don't know why I'm googling this. Uh, what it uh, what it learns when I have this little book in front of me um, that has its move set. Uh, Paula Swine. Yeah, get trucked Pupitar. Um, according to this, um, when you first get um, Fortress, uh, it comes with the moves Shadow Rush, uh, Protect, Bide, Rapid Spin, uh, and when it's purified, Shadow Rush gets replaced for Explosion, which is the... Okay, at least you got stat uh, paralyzed now. Uh, yeah, Macargo. Um... So, yeah, it's just been using Rapid Spin, hasn't it? Um, if anything. Uh, Apollo Swine. Um, yeah, now now it's time to pump out Great Balls. Um, and Macargo, Sunny Day. You would roast that Fortress alive. It's a Bug Steel type. It's a unique type. Um, only be matched by Scizor, Genesect, and Fortress itself. Um, so, four times weakness to fire. It's very painful for Fortress. All right, and with that, we caught Fortress. We're actually very, very, very close to fully infiltrating the um, uh, the Shadow Pokemon Lab. Uh, so with that note, I'm actually going to end things off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, add it to your favorites, share it on Facebook and Twitter. Speaking of Twitter, I have an account, at ToePlayer64. You can give me a follow on there and be notified whenever I have some interesting tidbits to uh, inform you of or something. Um, if you like streams, I also do those occasionally. Uh, my Twitch.tv account is, again, at ToePlayer64. You can give me a follow on there. And uh, if you like me and want to see more of my content and be notified whenever a new video of mine goes up, you can click that subscribe button and be notified whenever... Um, yeah, words. I had such a good thing going and then I tried to change it because it gets pretty repetitive at the end of every single video. But yeah, you'll be the first one to know uh, when a new video comes up. We're actually very close to 150 subscribers as of recording this, I think as I... I uh, checked last night, it was 147 or something. So thank you all for your generous support and viewership. And I will see you guys in the next one, where we will hopefully finish up uh, tackling the Shadow Pokemon Lab.
See you guys then. Nice. Nice.